Good morning. My name is Celine Perot, and I'm actually the founder of the Healthy Moms on a Mission group. I wanted to take a moment to, one, welcome all of the new members that we have. I'm so excited to have a bunch of new positive people giving their input and their opinions and sharing their wisdom in this group. As I said, my name is Celine, and I want to tell you a little bit about myself, and I am not an expert in nutrition. I really became a nurse back in 1994, and it was my daughter that was born in 2001 that really set me free into the nutrition world to learn more about nutrition. I was searching for answers. My daughter was born with an autoimmune disorder. She was covered from head to toe with bleeding eczema. Every time I went to her crib to get her out, I would literally look in the crib and there'd be blood everywhere because she'd be scratching her sores. And it was a really stressful life, to say the least. And on top of that, she had food allergies. She was allergic to milk, eggs, peanuts. And then if that wasn't enough, she had chemical sensitivities. So we couldn't even go to a mall. We couldn't even go to Target without my daughter reacting to the perfumes and the dyes and the clothing. She didn't have to touch anything. Literally, if she smelt the dyes or smelt the um, perfume, she would start getting hives all over. And I will tell you, as a nurse and a mom, I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? What can I do for this kid? So back then, my husband was in medical sales, so we knew a ton of doctors. I was a nurse at the big University of Florida hospital called Shands. We took my daughter to all the best of the fields in dermatology, enterology, everything, and we could not find one person that could help my daughter. Back then, all they wanted to do was give us Protopic and Elodil, which were steroids to put on her skin. And for some reason, I, I kept reading those package inserts for the drugs, and I saw that they caused child lymphoma and all these health issues. And I'm thinking, we're going to get rid of eczema, but now she's going to get cancer? No way. So I started searching for a new way to deal with her illness. And thank goodness, I had a friend who introduced me to a physician down in Tampa who was very holistic at the time. And back then, it was like, oh my gosh, you're going holistic. That was some weird thing. But uh, he taught me so much about nutrition and what it does to help with the body. And I had no idea, like this apple right here, there's 12,500 nutrients in this apple. And I was like, what? You know, I had no idea that food healed the body. And I had no idea that if you gave your body the necessary foods, that your body can make its own medicine to heal you. So that was pretty much a mind-blowing experience for me. And I am proud to say my daughter is now going to be 16 on May 14th. And she's got no eczema, 90% of her allergies are gone, and she's one of the healthiest kids I know. Knock on wood, she hasn't even been on an antibiotic in over 10 years. So I'm very passionate about health and what it does for the body. So you'll probably see this, pa this passion spewing all over my group because I'm all about food. Um, I'm really into teaching people that healthy is not some abstract idea that's difficult. I know all of us moms are so busy day-to-day -day doing laundry, carting these kids to and from sporting events. It seems like time is such of essence. It's so tough to find the time to cook healthy foods. But that's why I'm hoping we're going to do this Instant Pot 10-day challenge. And we're going to make healthy food or Instant Pot in less than 20 minutes. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the recipes you guys have that are healthy. And with that said, I want this group to be nothing but a positive, supportive place where we all can come and get support. We all know that we can go to Facebook everywhere and anywhere and find negative, judgmental people. Please, I don't want that in this group. We all are learning. I'm not an expert. There's, and I'm sure nobody in this group is an expert. We're all learning. So if somebody posts a recipe that you think isn't healthy, please don't judge that person. Just put a suggestion going, hey, did you think maybe you could substitute the the pasta for beans and make it a little bit healthier? But let's just focus on the positive because my true motto has always been, when women or people come together for a positive experience, amazing things happen. So let's support one another, and I cannot wait to see your Instapot recipes, and I'll be sharing, I'll try to do one a day this week so we can start food prepping and getting ready for um, April 9th. Take care, and again, welcome, welcome to this group.